What's up, folks? It's Big Boy standing here with my man, Angelo Ace Danilio, or as we know him, Ibarra. And this is Fightrepreneur's Throwback Fights. Ace is a two-in-one amateur MMA fighter who's been training and fighting with us for about a year. Ace took his first fight in the AFC against Thomas Sursik last year and won via TKO in the first round. We're going to go over that fight right now and let you hear what Ace was feeling and what was going through his head during that big win. So Ace, we're going to start the video here. You're standing across from Thomas Sursik. Referee Ross Kellen right here. What's going through your mind as he asks the fighters if they're ready? Man, it was my first fight. I was excited, pumped up, just ready to go. Yep, you look poised. Fighters are ready, and the ref lets you go. Come out strong. Thomas is circling. Goes with a jab. You eat off of it very well. Nice response. You're looking for your opportunity. He's coming forward. Boom, big. You drop him right out the gate. At this point, what are you thinking in your head? Um... I was, I was going to jump on him, but they said I'd wait for the referee to pick him up, so I just backed up. That was a big drop. Thomas recovered from that one. Now you're going again. You're looking for it. You see your 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 enemy is wounded. Are you trying to feed off of that? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to pressure him, pressure him, keep pressuring him, trying to wear him out. Now, you're, you're known more as a ground guy, I mean as a stand-up guy, but a couple times here you, you actually hip-toss this kid. And, I mean, it looks good right now. He's covering up. You're just hurting him with this big body shot, huge body shot. He's trying to get you off. You can tell he's a little flustered. Could you see that in his yeah, face? Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. That's why I wanted to stand. Nice. Go for the clinch. He tries to tie up with you. He, he knows he got nothing against you on, a, on the stand-up, so he, I think he's looking for a takedown. Yeah. Nice leg kick. Nice way to keep him at the end of your punches. Again, nice leg kick. It takes him out. Big, powerful leg kick. You're throwing him off. You're just powering this guy. Did you have a good weight cut during this fight? Uh, yeah, pretty good weight cut. Mm. Here's the throw. You're looking at it. You're setting it up. Boom. Nice outside leg trip. That was awesome, Ace. At this time, your coach is yelling at you, which is me, to get up, stand up, because that's where we want to be, and you do. Yeah. Boom. And you're just tearing him, tearing him up. You're not giving him a chance. The ref is in there now to give you a second. He wants to make sure he's okay. Now, at this point in the fight, Ace, mm. You've knocked him down a couple times. You can tell he's flustered. Yeah. You see the blood. Are you hungry? Yeah, I was hungry. I felt like I had it, so just keep doing what I was doing. Referee Ross Kellen lets Thomas Sursik go again, and here comes the heat. Ace is throwing him right down the pipe. Heavy hands. Big punch. Nice jab. Nice jab. Fighting southpaw. Ooh, big punch. Big right. Another one. Another right. Now you're eating it. Now you can see that you've hurt him. Yeah. What are you looking for? I wanted to get a knockout, knockout. Not another throw like that. <laughs> Jeez, nice. Instincts, man. You can just see Thomas is just, he yes. knows he's beat. Yeah. Big one-twos right down the middle. And Ross Kellen in there to stop the fight for a TKO. You know, the fighter couldn't intelligently protect himself. That's what these referees are in here for. Your first win, your first knockout. You don't look too thrilled. What's going on right here? Are you a little tired or something? Nah, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know he stopped the stop. I thought he was going to do the count. Wow. That's how I was like that. Looking through the replays right now, Ace just coming in heavy-handed against Thomas Sursik. Comes in, wins that fight in the first round of the AFC. Congratulations, Ace. That was your first fight. It was awesome for you. I know the feeling was great. Yeah. I mean, what were you thinking after that fight? Were you ready to fight again? Yeah, man, I was excited. I had a good training camp with you guys. And yeah, I was ready for my next one. Nice. Good job to Angelo Danilio. You heard the announcer announcing the win. Thomas Sursik with the loss. I know Thomas came back. We're going to go into your second fight now. All right, your second fight was at Rumble and Thunder. Yeah. It was in Crystal River. It was an awesome show. It was against a tough opponent, Anthony Urso, which in the scouting report, the promoters told us this kid was untouchable. I remember in the locker room the day before, you, or you said, man, he's got cauliflower ear. What do I do? What did I tell you to do? Punch the ear punch him in the ear so now we're going to go into our next video our next video is going to be rumble and thunder it was october 
of last year in Crystal River, and we're going to see Ace do more magic against a very talented fighter, Anthony Urso. So now we're in here at Crystal River, at the Crystal River Mall for Rumble and Thunder. This is your second fight. Referee Bags, David Baggett has separated you two, and boom, you come out with a big leg kick. One, two, one, two, down the middle. Catch him, knock him down, win the fight in eight seconds. There couldn't have been much going through your mind there, but tell me what was going on through Ace's head. Well, I had a lot of my family go to this fight, so I was pumped up. Look at all those people. That's a huge crowd, yeah. huge support for a fighter. Awesome job. Even got some of Trey Seaholm's fans in there <laughs> hollering at you, I see. Yeah, yeah. You were definitely the man of the night that night. Anthony Urso is a tough opponent. Kid's a seasoned grappler. His brother's in the UFC. You know, a lot of people thought this might have been a tough fight for you, but you made it look easy, bro. How'd you prepare for this one? Man, a lot of training, a lot of running. With you guys, man, y'all kill me in, out here, so. That's right, another Tigers World victory. Ace wins his second fight. Unfortunately, your third fight was in a different promotion. We don't have the video for it, but it was a loss due to disqualification because you kicked the down opponent, yeah. which was an accident, but it happens. We are coming back April 11th yeah. to fight at AFC. You're fighting, I think, Charlie Yenis or something like that. It's a, it's a young guy. He's tough as well. You're looking to avenge your loss. How's your camp been going for the AFC? Good, good, man. Nothing different. Just working hard, working hard, training hard. Well, folks, this has been Fightrepreneur's throwback episode with our boy Angelo Ace Danilio Ibera. And listen, it would have been a little bit longer, but Ace likes to end these fights quick. So, from all the guys here at Fightrepreneur, congratulations, Ace, on those great victories. And we hope to continue to see your success in MMA. This is Big Boy with my man Ace again. Fightrepreneur throwback episode.